हेलो ऑल माय नेम इज दीप रंजन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो लाइक इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द एल सिंगल सेल आर्किटेक्चर सो दिस वीडियो इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दैट वीडियो ओनली सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शी अबाउट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पार्ट एल एस so for that i have uh, taken a data set here uh, imdb data set so actually in this data sets uh, we are having only two column uh, one is review another one is sentiment so it is a classification problem it's a binary classification problem so we have a output column that is that is having uh, values like a uh, positive and negative only okay on the positive and negative comment okay so this data set is uh, already available in the keras library also and you can easily download it from uh, kaggle i'm here i'm using uh, the kaggle one okay you can download it from there also that's not a problem so before going uh, ahead for the exploration part like uh, for model building and all that uh first of all we'll try to understand what are the important libraries we are going to use for this okay so as we all know about this uh couple of libraries like pandas numpy matplotlib seaboard and ltk so i think uh, from our machine learning days uh, we are we are learn, like uh, we know about these things we are using those things okay so here i think uh, some new things are there like what tokenization and tokenizer pad sequence what these things are okay so what tokenizer thing uh, is simply like uh, if we pass a sentence okay uh, if we have a sentence uh, let's see here uh, i'll just so you like one example let's let's see uh, this is a sentence okay uh, after uh, doing what tokenizing this sentence will be splitted okay it will be in the form of list and each word is uh, like a, after each word there will be a comma and then another another word so it's as a kind of like a, it, it will create a list of words okay so nothing else it will split the words and uh, keep it into into a list okay and tokenizer so tokenizer simply means it will convert those words into the numeric values uh, numeric one so that we will discuss it like uh, discuss it in vector format they will okay and the pad sequence so like uh, so i'll give you an, one example to understand what is the pad sequence here so let's suppose we have a, a sentence of length 5 another one is of 10 and another one is of 20 okay so at the time of training we have to provide sentence of equal length so for that we are going to pad their zeros like we are going to fill uh, that values fill that gap with zero that is uh, just a padding okay and here also we are using the sequential model we are going to use okay so uh, we are going to use the stack of lstm model then after that there will be uh, a dense layer like output layer and all that and This, these are the imports embedding lstm dense layer dropout you already know about that and the label encoding we are going to use for the output class like we have value positive and negative so we will encode it in the form of zeros and ones okay and this is for warning some deprecated warning will come so just to ignore that uh is mentioned there nothing else so here i'm just loading my data set pd.readcfc Let's load it. Then you can see here some data like uh, reviews and sentiment. First, in the reviews, we are having uh, the reviews of the customer, and uh, we are going to determine whether it's the positive one or negative one. So now we are going to count the values uh, of the sentiments just to understand whether the data set is balanced or not. Okay, so we can see here uh, the values are twenty-five thousand, twenty-five thousand, same. So it's fine. Okay, now we'll go for the word tokenization. Uh, we'll just pass the word like a sentence, and it will tokenize it, right? Okay, and after that, uh, there is word tokenization. Okay, this is for 
सिंगल सेंटेंस जस्ट फॉर डेमो पर्पस आई हैव मेंशन हियर हियर वी आर डूइंग द टोकनाइजेशन पार्ट एंड वी हैव 50000 ऑफ रोस हियर इफ यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव चेक द सेफ 50000 रोस एंड टू कॉलम्स सो नाउ वी आर जस्ट लाइक अ स्प्लिटिंग आवर डेटा सेट इनटू लाइक 80 20 uh training will be 80% and testing will be 20% this thing now tokenizer so what tokenizer will do uh, it will take those of those words and convert them into a numeric format if you can see there is they all are converted into the numeric format and padding will do what uh, like up uh, like let's uh, here we have mentioned the max length of 1 28 so let's suppose uh, if we have a sentence which are ha like if we have a sentence which is having less than that value less than 128 so the in that scenario in that uh, sentence the rest of the values will be uh, filled by zero that is the main uh, like this is the main working of the padding sequence and we can use the padding as a pre post this kind of thing like before the sentence or after the sentence we can use it here is the like train first sentence of the train data set and how many number of of words are there 128 okay and for the test data set again we are doing the text tokenizer this tokenization whatever you say and the length also length You can see here after splitting the data set into a GA twenty form, uh, forty thousand is for the training purpose and the ten thousand is for testing purpose. Here we are uh, doing a level encoding for the Y values. Just pass that uh, create a object of the level encoder and dot fit transform Y train value and only transform for the Y test. Okay. So now we are creating our sequential model here, okay, and adding a uh, embedding. So this embedding layer will create our input layer here. So it will take a number of words, and number of words is fifty thousand number of uh, columns. You can see, and output dimension is hundred because we have taken a LSTM of hundred cell. Okay, so that's why output output dimension is hundred, and input length is. 128 like the in the length of our each sentence would be 128 and trainable is equal to true that is okay and in lstm layer we have added 100 neurons here lst 100 lstm cells here dropout is 0.1 return sequence true so what exactly this recurrent sequence is like uh, let's sub so here we have added a stack of lstm model right so whatever output coming from this lstm layer will be passed through this lstm layer so the the cell size should be same so just to uh, return on that sequence only uh, we have mentioned here return sequence is equal to false if we do it uh, like it true uh, like if we do it false then uh, we have to remove this layer okay then only it will work and at the end this is the output layer uh, and we are taking a uh, only work, expecting only one output uh, because the binary classification problem so either zero or one positive or negative and activation function we are using sigmoid here so we know that the sigmoid value lies between zero and one only so it is good for uh, is uh, best for the uh, binary classification but if you are going for the multi multi classification you can go for the softmax now we are compiling our model and for that we are using a loss function that is binary cross entropy we can use any other also like a sparse one a sparse cat categorical cross entropy huber loss and these uh, many more losses we have already a study about it okay optimizer function is where there there i am using adam we can use there like a adagrad or an prop uh, lots of uh, optimizers are there uh, but mostly uh, most of time uh, people are using adam because it's a good one okay so i, I have like i have also used this one only matrix wise we are using the accuracy just to check uh, what all accuracy we are going to getting like validation accuracy and the validation loss we are getting model summary you can see we are going to train for 
or close to 5 million parameters okay so now here is the model fit passing x train and y train train for just 5 epochs because um, just train for the 5 epochs here because it will take a lot of time okay if I so anyhow this is not a good model okay so if you if you want to get a good model then you have to at least train for uh, 10,000 epochs then you will really get some good result okay now I'm going to here I'm just plotting up my training loss and the validation lot so it's not good but you can uh, like if you can train for the 10,000 then definitely you will get a, a good result here I am checking the training and the validation accuracy. It's very simple. Uh, here are some uh, validation sentence like is mentioned there. This movie was not good at all. It has some good parts like acting was pretty good, but the story was not impressive. So probability of positive I am getting here 84 percent. So I think the comment is negative okay right but still i am getting a uh, 84 percent of positive so that means my model is not good if we train for that uh, but uh, much more epochs we will get it and the another one is it has some bad parts like the storylines although the actors perform really well that is why overall i enjoyed it it's a positive one and we are getting an accuracy of 96 percent so it's fine it's it is fine and I can watch this movie forever just because of the beauty in this cinematography so this is also a positive one and we are getting also 94% so I think this is a good one so if you want to get a good accuracy then you have to train for uh, uh, more than 10,000 or more than that so then you will be able to get a better result okay? so I think uh, the uh, we are good for this video now okay so i'll just conclude this video bye bye